Do EMF protection stickers really work? Is it worth the money? Let's put them to the test. Looking at six different EMF shields. EMF stands for electromagnetic fields, and these shields are applied to the back of your mobile phone. The purpose is to reduce as much as possible the emissions that come from your phone. These include things like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and your cellular transmissions, such as data as well as voice calls. Okay, in order to measure the performance of these, today I'm going to be using a spectrum analyzer. The purpose of the spectrum analyzer is to measure the frequency of any transmission, which is on this axis, and the power, which is on this axis. So you'll see big peaks come when there's cellular data, for instance, which is the thing I'm gonna be measuring today. So the first thing I'm gonna be doing is setting uh, this system up with this cable going to this antenna. So the transmissions from the phone, which I'll set up right here, will come through this antenna and come and be displayed up here on this display. And you can tell today whether or not the shield is working when you see a reduction in the peak of that transmission from the cellular uh, data. Okay, before we actually start testing each and every one of the shields, I thought it'd be good that you could see what the transmissions looks like from the phone before the shields are put on. I have on the back here nothing on the back of the phone right now. Again, this is an Apple 8 Pro. You can see the logo there. And I'm on a call right now. You can see from the green bar that I am on a call. They have their phone muted. I have mine muted, so you're not going to hear any uh, someone talking. Uh, the first thing I'll do is set this phone down here uh, next to this, and you'll see immediately that the graph is going almost all the way up to the top. There, so you can see again, it's very, very tall. The uh, signal strength is going almost all the way up. In fact, it is that now hitting the actual uh, top of the graph. That means uh, it's quite a bit of signal strength coming out of the phone. It has, of course, no shield on it again. I'm going to test these today using painter's tape. Um, all of these things have some sort of adhesive that allow them to apply to the phone surface on the back, but um, I don't want to have to try to remove that adhesive between each one of these. I don't want there to be like a buildup of any kind of glues or something to affect the performance. Okay, so the first one I'm going to try will be the wave block. It comes in uh, multiple different versions. For my 8 Pro, I'm going to use this particular one. And again, I'm going to hear this with some tape. That. Okay, so I have that on here. So now I'm going to make a telephone call and uh, I'll put it up on the spectrum analyzer. Okay, so this is now with WaveBlock applied to the back of the mobile phone. You can see here uh, from the measurements up on the spectrum analyzer that the peaks are about halfway now uh, up the graph, uh, which indicates a substantial drop in signal strength or the power being emitted from the phone. So WaveBlock is definitely effective in reducing the EMF. And I'll take a screenshot of this uh, so that we can use it for comparison's sake later on. Okay, so here's a freeze frame showing the two peaks with wave block applied to the back. Again, I've frozen uh, the capture, so you can see it's wave block here on the phone. And uh, that is the measurement made there. The two peaks, they're far smaller, the peaks are, compared to the high peaks that we're getting without wave block. So very effective in reducing EMF. So next up is the quantum shield. This is nanotechnology. I did go look up online for the instructions. So according to the online information, you're supposed to place these directly 
in the center of the phone. So I'm going to use my trusty ruler here to make sure. Next up I will place a call and set this up in front of the spectrum analyzer. Okay, so I have now the quantum shield sitting up in front of the spectrum analyzer. I absolutely see no difference in the signal strength being measured from without the quantum shield added, so it's, it seems to have no effect on any of the EMF being emitted from the phone. I will do a freeze sh shot of this the freeze frame capture with quantum shield applied. As you can see from the peak, the peaks go all the way to the top of the graph just as it did without the shield. So I don't see any benefit in terms of EMF reduction by this. So the next sticker is the Shungai EMF protection sticker. This comes in a sealed pouch. it gives you some information in here about the application. What I did find online, however, was a little bit of conflicting detail. Uh, in all of their pictures, it shows the uh, system right, the shield right in the center of the phone. But it says that you should apply it for the phone up near the camera where the antenna is. So I'm going to, again, I use tape to apply this. I'm going to try here as well as up on the top near where they claim the antenna is. I did check that and the antenna is uh, here for many iPhones. Okay, so now I put the Shungai sticker on there and I'm not seeing any change really in the uh, performance at all. Uh, I'm still getting levels that were equal to without the sticker. Now I do have this placed on the back of the phone, so in the center. This is a freeze frame of the Shungai EMF protection sticker. Again, no performance change whatsoever in the EMF, in any EMF reduction from this sitting in the center of the phone. Now I have the Shungai EMF protective sticker uh, right next to the camera uh, at the top as it was stated in the instructions and I see again no performance change in at all placing this up there. Here is a freeze frame of the Shungite EMF protection sticker. You can see the two peaks are right up at the top just like uh, the phone was without the shield applied so I don't see any effect, regardless of where I put it on the back of the phone, any effect in terms of the EMF. The next one we're going to make measurements for is the Wilohas, I think it's pronounced Wilohas, 24 karat gold anti-radiation protection stickers. stickers here and again I'm going to place it in the center of the phone because that's where all of the documentation is showing the center of the phone it fits nicely on there and just as before nothing so no change whatsoever in the signal strength I'll take a freeze frame of this, but just like the other stickers here, I see no effect whatsoever on the EMF. Okay, here's another freeze frame of the spectrum coming out of the cell phone with the Wilohas shields on the, on the back. Again, no change, same signal strength as without the sticker on it. The next one I'll be testing is Dr. Valerie Nelson's EMF neutralizing tags. Okay, so these are the tags. It does say on their instructions that you need to put at least two of these on and maybe sometimes three. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply uh, two of these first and do the test and then I will try three. Okay, I have now the stickers on the back of the phone. These are the Dr. Valerie Nelson's stickers. I see again no change at all in the performance. Um, in fact, you can see them on the back here. Um, this is with two stickers. I have done a freeze frame on the spectrum analyzer for Dr. Valerie Nelson's EMF neutralizing tags, I guess is their official name. Anyway, I see here the signal strength is again just the same as if I had nothing on the back of the phone. And I do hear showing how I attached them. I did have to attach these without tape. There was no other way to actually attach them, so they are on my phone. Okay, so now I have three different um, tags from Dr. Valerie Nelson's EMF neutralizing tags. I've got three on there now. One in the center, one at the top, one at the bottom. Again, still strong peaks on here. I'm not seeing any difference in the response with or without these tags on the back. So again, totally ineffective for EMF reduction for uh, cellular frequencies. Okay, I did a quick freeze frame of this uh, Dr. Valerie Nelson's EMF neutralizing tags. This is a freeze frame again, very strong signals. In fact, I'm not sure if it doesn't slightly magnify the signals. Again, you see them attached on the back here. So very ineffective in reducing EMF. This is the last test today for um, EMF shields to go on back of the phones, testing their effectiveness. So I don't know what this name brand is. <clears throat> it was one of the five I ordered online. It says on the back, EMF sticker, four pack made in China. So I don't know what the name brand is. I'll find out here shortly. I'm gonna open this up. This is called EMR, Energy Protective Energy Saving Chip. Anyway, okay, I've gotta read the instructions on this and then I will apply them to the phone and we'll do some tests. The one thing I did notice is this did have a slight reduction in RF uh, energy. It's not as good as the wave block was, but it is some reduction. The signals are coming down slightly lower than that of the, uh, without this on the back of the phone. This is the freeze frame for the EMR protective block. Uh, I did get slight reduction over having nothing on the back of the phone. And, uh, but again, still nowhere near the response I got from the wave block, uh, putting that on the back of a phone. So again, you can see it here. This is on the back of the phone here. Uh, I've tried this moving it around uh, into various locations on the back of the phone. But uh, again, uh, wave block seemed to be better than this particular one. Uh, this would take a second place, but we're gonna show this all on the table of all the things we tested today.